Yo, what's going on guys? Good luck to you today, bringing you another Pre-Season 7 commentary. In this game, we're playing against a Gnar, going Grasp, which is interesting. I mean, to be honest though, Gnar only gets the um, shield when um, he goes in his second form, so I don't think it's, exact it's exactly um, viable. I mean, it can be, but for laning, you mostly got to be in your um, mini form, so you're not going to be able to get the shield often. So it doesn't really work necessarily. But first of all, we're just going to um, we'll attack these minions, get them low, last up, push level 2. Against ranged champions, I normally push in. <coughs> so I can get level 2 quicker. It's kind of hard though without taking damage. I mean, it's kind of impossible to be honest. Walk in here. Pulling me pretty hard. Be bad spot here. No. So early on, we just last her. You want to fight in level 3 because you got all your abilities. You can do some EQs, but you gotta be careful when he's in his um, mega form because he's gonna stun you with his W. Add some damage with his Q. Got some ping issues. Hopefully, it goes down. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. That works. First blood. I went back in with my dice because I was going to get level 3 off that minion. So, because I seen that, I decided to all in. And of course, we got his flash from that. Very important looking at your XP when you're going in. Especially when you're about to hit level 3. Got flash onto him. Kill him. Right from my end, W. Alright. I mean, we got his flash. Now there's no flash, too. Could have been worse. I was gonna flash on Sonara and kill him. <coughs> Excuse me. I was gonna flash on Nara and kill him, but um, Rengar came in and Nara was standing in his tower. So if I flashed on him, I would have died to the tower. So I took the closest target, being Rengar, and killed him. He has a double boss now, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to deal with. But he's gonna back now, so the time he comes back into lane, they're gonna run out. So we're good. 3 1 um, target guard kill. So the build I'm going with this game is um, just a standard um, Black Lever Titanic Borg build with Dead Man's Plate and Swiftness Boots. There's no Keystone, I just realized. Alright. For a rank game, I would normally take um, teleport, but I'm taking ignite so I can snowball. You do like kill pressure with um, Colossus, but I've played games of it where I take TP and still win lane pretty hard. Preference, as I normally say. Dead now. I like rank guys here. Probably killed him too. That's unfortunate. Rengar's just camping there. He's gonna be in here. Pretty frustrating, I can't fight him. What's my jungler doing? Okay. 
He's right in the bush. And he's about to get sick, so I can't walk up. A bomb. That was all in there. Fucked all his damage with my Colossus. He's six now. Cassiopeia is coming up. I'm about to hit six, so we can probably do something here. We need Lobo, and I can't farm. He's back in. I get my dice. That's am okay. I'll kill him anyway. Not sure why he didn't ult me. I would um, expect him to have it too because um, he hasn't really killed Cassiopeia or even fought her. Like, well, I presume. Just turn on cat. Turn on Tyra. Okay, they get the kill now. I'm gonna go with these. I've already got the damage to um, hurt Nar, so. Don't need to go anything else. I just need moon speed to keep up with him. And on our trade. I guess further could be good. In a matchup like this, but I don't really need it. Still testing build to Colossus. I was gonna play further, in fact, but. Being against the Nara, I want to try this out. It's pretty good though, for dodging his um, Q after stunning him. Or any W's if you can get it off in time. Okay. I believe he's going Phage with the uh, Ruby Crystal and Longsword. With this lane, it, it's so good to get mobility because he can't hit you. Just stop him getting creep locked. I really don't want to use either. I want to save it for my W. I got it off in the end. Don't jump over the wall, there's no point chasing him. Fact. Comes uh no, he's dead. They point flash in there. Uh, you get three assists, that is so uh three assists. So um, I can just get this wave here too. I think he has flash. I mean teleport. I'm gonna push out here in case he does have it. I don't think he does. Okay. Push out quickly then. Kind of light though. Right. Now can recall. So every time you want to back, you want to push out the waves. So because you're doing that, when they get to the tower, they're gonna to miss out a bunch of creeps. It's harder to farm, so he's already missing quite a few. So I pushed it under his tower. No control ward. Buying um wards is always great. This ward try bush, try bush. So you can see if anyone walks in but that way. You know, in high elo, most people try and gank with these bushes when you're overextended, so you always want to ward this in case they walk behind. 
if you don't have it warded, then obviously they're gonna come this way and most likely burn a flash from you or even kill you. So it looks like Rengar might actually come up now. He's pretty strong. He's, he needs to um, shut me down. He shuts me down, man. Good. I can ult me. Oh. But get his ult off. Again with the wards. Just killing them. So annoying. I freeze now. Equip needs to come top. I have no stun now. Not gonna come fight me. I also one shot him. Like he might be fed, but I'm pretty fed too. And I know my damage, so I can kill him. Rengar's really strong. Well, I mean I can kill him, but everyone else is just dying to him. He needs to be a bit more careful. Equim needs to do something. But again, dove. That was quick. He's gonna ult, I think. Not smart, smart player. He's not really smart. He ulted me. I'm towards the wall so I get stunned. and can get free autos on there. I push him under his tower now. I can dive into. I've got no spells now, so that's a big problem. I can't exactly die them like I wanted to. That's his E to outplay me. That works too. That's my combo there too. I think Fez was bot lane. I could probably kill Fizz if he does come. I have the damage and also Colossus will help me negate some of the burst he has on his ultimate if I time it right. Big tanky. Okay, he's going there if I was a mallet. We're gonna have some problems against Nah. I might go Cutlass so, so I can um, keep up with him. I'm definitely going Bork, but I don't know if I want to go yet. In fact, I'll start building the components to it. So I'll get the two long swords. I can also build out of a, um, a TM mat so I can go die for once or two. Double extend him. He has to fight in there. Uh... Oh, he has ultimate, okay. Rengar is doing work. My jungle needs to be do doing something. I need to roll him too. I need to carry this team. Go around mid and do something. In fact, I'll go um top. Just two mid lane. No, I was gonna be coming here now. If there's maybe. I've got my E to escape. I can use Grom to escape too. I've got my ultimate, they don't scare me. I'll 
Hover no way, sure. Hover now. I got the slow. I'm gonna kill Rengar here. Rengar was pretty tanky there too, surprisingly, but well, it felt like it. I don't normally go Bork second, but I kind of want to build it early. Situation. Just against Gnar anyway. I'm gonna uh, make an impact on the lanes now. In fact, top's pushing, it would be nice to um, go and clear that. Tyrus, Tyrus gonna die, he has nowhere to escape. Okay, Flash, never mind. He's gonna die in the process. We use so much of that too. I don't think it's necessary. Ultimate. Just for a support, that's one and two. Or was anyway. Whatever, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Focus on my own game. Rengar is coming. You need to be protecting her now. I wasn't watching that. We also use his own um, E. Cool, he has frozen mallet now. I'll make use of that. Yeah, it's. Got killing now. Use that for our vision. In all honesty, I thought I was gonna die, die then to um, nah. Okay, I'm really squishy still. Bengo has dust blade. That's gonna do nice own true damage on her. The spider is so good as an item right now on like pretty much most assassins and AD casters that want to go full damage. Like I've been playing, um, I've been playing Renekton with it uh, and Thunder Lords. It's so great to play with. My um, my. That was close. Bernardi's back. Rangar's coming now. He has no ultimate. Just type the tower. Then back. Back to my kill him. Okay, JK. I, I shouldn't have used my um, Fury for my E. That was a huge misplay. I got too overconfident. He's got more AD than me as well. And you also have the um, passive from Dusk Blade that got me killed. That would just a lot of damage too. It's the um, second time I've seen one in the game. Actually, it's not the fourth time, but I don't really, I don't really recall. I don't really recall seeing any Vanguard player actually you know, do anything within this game. He's at five. Okay, I need some HP against him, but I'm pretty strong at the moment, so I don't need to go tanky yet. Just need um, some HP at least. 
that'll, that'll do. Just a Titanic and then um, Dead Man's play it. In fact, I might go in now, but we'll see. The people's a Caitlyn and it's that team. Of course, I get altered out of everyone else. I'm not gonna win a team fight without. Well, we can it once um, I was in mini bomb. Need um. Forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Never mind. Dragon's up soon. Bad dragon. I don't know why I caught one. Yeah, we should do Baron. Good call. Good call. Let's do this. We're gonna sneak it. Just ignore. He's gonna have mega for him. Uh, you can kill him still. Well played. Great engage by Hecarim. He's definitely uh, coming back now. He has no ultimate, maybe he does. Okay, he does. You can do Baron. No, let's do Baron instead. I have ultimate too. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. Come here. She's wasting a lot of time. Whatever, this team. They can do like they want on, I guess. Not like we would win with Baron or anything. This damage. <laughs> Books are fun. I can't wait till the buffs next patch to buffing it to um, do 8% of current target health. Which is huge against tanks. Anyone that stacks HP really. But I'm looking forward to that buff. It used to be 8% back in uh, Season 5, but they um, changed it because Fervor was too strong as it was on hit damage. But now that Fervor's flat damage, or flat AD, they've changed it back. And also, I think right to where there's going to be a tank meta, so. Just, um, they're just preparing for it, yeah, I can't speak. Just fight them. I think I'm scared, I'll fight them more. I'm prepared to kill her. Never mind, he took my kill. And Caitlyn was in base. Oh, I thought you hopped here, that was odd. Yeah, let's do this now. So I'll buy this now, and I'm gonna go Denmans. I recommend going Denmans a lot earlier in a build like this, but because um, okay, this surrendered. All right, so yeah, that was a good game. So against Nah, just have to like abuse him when he has no E up. Just keep doing EQ trades, and then when he turns around and you have the damage, maybe ignite two up. You you can turn you can turn on him when you slice. No, you, I mean you die. Sorry. Yeah. So what you do is you do an EQ. He'll most likely jump away, and then um, he'll start walking towards you again because he's stupid. Well, most of our players are anyway. So then you dice back onto him. Now the the thing is though, you can't always do that because you're gonna lose fury, and you want to save your fury for your um, empowered W. So if you do have that, if you do get the fury for your empowered W, use it then when you dice back onto him. And you can probably kill him just from that. Wasn't the best landing phase though. I could play that a lot better. But hey, we got the victory after all. And I got pretty fed. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.